You'll have had your tea. The doings of Hamish and Dougal. Today, Fame Idol. Dougal! Oh, Hamish, you'll have had your tea. Well, no, but no, you're listening to the wireless. Oh, desert island discs. It wouldn't be Sunday without it. Dougal, why did you switch it off? Sue Lolly. Oh. oh, indeed. You can't listen to that woman on the Sabbath. No. Oh, no, no, no. No, oh, there's something of the nighty about her. Uh, every time I hear her voice, my libido jumps up and shouts, Game on! No! Oh. Oh, she just has me reaching for the knob. No. Oh. <laughs> you just come in and uh, help yourself to the Sunday papers. Ah, thank you. Do you mind if I glance at your pullout? Feel free. All right. <laughs> ah, well, here we go. Same old rubbish every week. Oh, look here. What? The search is on for talent in the glens. Fay McAdamy. <laughs> Rossex Television is looking for up-and-coming stars of the future. Well, you ought to go in for that. What? Oh, oh I remember that Burns night when you did the ventriloquist act with a turnip. <laughs> oh, that was just a bit of nonsense. Well, maybe, but you never saw that turnip move. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but what about you, old friend? You should go on. If, uh, what would I do? I've seen you cut a rug. Yeah, I could do that, or, or measure up some lino. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute. What? Four and twenty virgins came down from Inverness. What page is that on? No! <laughs> we used to sing it at the needlework evenings. Oh, well, I think that would be a bit too post-watershed for their requirements. Well, we'd be in with a chance, though. There's nobody round here who can sing like us. Mrs. Nochty, turn that radio off. I haven't got a radio in here. Then who was that singing? I'm afraid that was me. I always enjoy a wee warble when I'm peeling the tatties. You? You? But uh, it sounded wonderful. Sing us some more. A four and twenty virgins. No, 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 no. no. S -s Sing some more of what you were singing before. Oh, you mean this? Mrs. Nochty, we are going to enter you. Well, let me finish peeling the potatoes. Oh, no time for that. There is to be a nationwide talent contest throughout the Trossachs, which you are bound to win. You'd be a celebrity. Fame? Wealth, a life of glamour. Well, it's tempting, I'll admit. Let's fill in the form. <clears throat> now, full name. <clears throat> Margaret Morag Beyoncé Nocti. <laughs> right. Now, uh, the rest of your details. A flat 38B. Well, which? <laughs> My address. Oh. Flat 38B. PG Woodhouse. Sydney Green Street. Peter Lorry. Oh, I'm so excited. I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and pretty. Oh, shut the door. Oh, it goes right hey. through you. Oh, it's like, <laughs> like fingernails on a blackboard. Oh, oh. <laughs> Everything all right in here? Oh, fine, your lordship. Uh, it's very kind of you to lend us your rehearsal room here in the big house. That's all right. I'm not using it this afternoon. I pushed the bed to the wall to give you a bit more room. I'll just move these out of the way for you. 
Thank you. Oh. Might I inquire what you're rehearsing in here? We're rehearsing our tans for the TV talent show. Good grief, that turnip just spoke. <laughs> That was Hamish. Well, this all sounds the most jolly fun. I've half a mind to enter myself. Clever trick if you can do it. <laughs> can you keep that turnip quiet? <laughs> uh, look here, your lordship. Uh, you must have a hidden talent up your sleeve. Well, I had a little party piece that used to go down well in the mess, and she taught me an interesting little turn. <laughs> On second thoughts, there might be ladies present. No, I shall just have to sing a song. Goodbye. Oh, jinx. You remember the last time he sang? Aye, at Jimmy's funeral. Started off as Jimmy's wedding. <laughs> Bribing the judges or having singing lessons. Oh, the sneaky devil. We'd better rethink our act. Oh, wait a minute. It's staring us in the face. No, it's all right. It's a two-way mirror. <laughs> I think we'd better continue this discussion in private. Come on, Hamish. We are off home. Now then, how are we going to ensure that we beat the laird and win the contest? We could kill him. No, no, we'd get caught like last time. Oh, <laughs> true. Well, if you ask me, why don't we all join forces and form a singing group? We could have the backing from the village band, the Sporanaires, and the W.I. dance group, Hot Broth. Yes, well, nobody did ask you, Mrs. Knockley. <laughs> Nevertheless, you could be onto something. We could all do that song you sing at throwing out time. At the pub? At wherever he sings it. <laughs> oh, I whack it on the dram. Damn and blast, I shall have to raise my game. Uh, Hamish, was it your idea to bring the two-way mirror home with us? <laughs> oh, James. I'm sorry, I think I misunderstood the principle. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, come on, man, we must prepare for the talent show. When does it start? In about three seconds. Come on! Now, who's up next? Oh, it's a novelty act. Balloono, TV's Balloon Man. Ah, what does he do? See for yourself. He takes that poodle and twists it into the shape of a balloon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, he could do with some practice. <laughs> And a more robust poodle. <laughs> so, there's only one more act, and then it's us. Who do we follow? It's Mad Mick McMurtry, the motorcycle maniac, and the Wall of Death. <laughs> oh, I thought there'd be more to it than that. <laughs> We're home and dry. Funny there's been no sign of the laird. Oh, I dare say he pulled out when he saw what he was up against. Not for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Hamish, Mr. Dougal, disaster. I'm so nervous I've completely lost my voice. Now, where on earth is Mrs. Nochty? <laughs> What are we going to do? Mrs. Nochte! Nochte! Ouch! Mrs. Nochte, there you are. I've found her. Where is she? I'm right here in front of you, and I can't sing because I've lost my voice. Well, don't just stand there mouthing silently. We've got some singing to do. I think Mrs. Nochte has lost her voice. Either that, or we've both gone deaf. Hey, Miss! Oh... <laughs> I'm here! Oh, yes, so you are. For a minute, for a minute, I thought I'd lost my sense of smell. No! Oh, come on! Oh. Oh, come on. 
We have got to sort out Mrs. Nochty's voice. I've heard that a sudden shock will often do the trick. Right, plug her in. <laughs> right, we're in business. Everybody ready? No! Away we go! There's a whack it on the dram and a hooly doon the noo. There's a stick it in the grap and where the maiden slot to screw. There's a wishty washty winky in the muckle bucket moo. Hi ho for the open road. There's a whack it on the drum and a hooly doon the noo. There's a stick it in the drap and where the maiden slot to screw. There's a wishty washty winky in the muckle. It on the drown, man, the who we do the do. There's a stick it in the trap, it's where the midden slaughters go. There's a wishy washy winky in the muckle buckers go. I ho for the open road. It on the drown, man, the who we do the do. There's a stick it in the trap, it's where the midden slaughters go. There's a wishy washy winky in the muckle buckers go. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed my little number, and I'm sure I can count on you in the phone-in voting. <coughs> yeah, hello? Oh, too kind. Thank you very much. <coughs> Apparently I've won. <laughs> All together now, one more time. I I expect you two could do with a stiff one. Oh, there's no time for that, woman. <laughs> Just get us a drink. Ah, uh, there we are. Cheers, old friend. Cheers. The lad has defeated us once again. Who'd have thought he would hijack our entry and claim it as his own? And not only that, win the competition. A flyaway safari in Dundee, if you please. Uh, <laughs> Hamish, a toast. To the lad, damn his eyes. A two-faced, cheating, conniving, sniveling, backstabbing, evil son of a bitch bastard! I heard that! <laughs> Hamish, I thought I told you to get rid of the two-way mirror. No, oh, James, I've done it again. Yeah. Goodbye. Toodle. You'll have had your tea. The Doings of Hamish and Dougal was written and performed by Barry Cryer and Graham Garden, with Jeremy Hardy as the lad, Alison Steadman as Mrs. Nocty, and Jane Gilchrist as Mrs. Nocty's singing voice. Music was arranged by John Garden and performed by Karen Street, Andrew Davis, Ross Stephen, and Scott Hammond. The producer was John Naismith.